box office results are in and the new Idris Elba thriller No Good Deed has taken the top spot with 24.5 million on its opening weekend. The family film sequel Dolphin Tale 2 came in at number 2 making 16.5 million. For the first time in its 7 week run, Guardians of the Galaxy dropped out of the number 2 spot coming in 3rd place with 8 million. In the number 4 spot is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles taking in 4.8 million and rounding out the top 5 is the comedy Let's Be Cops making 4.3 3 million. Miri, any surprises for you in this weekend's box office results? Um, I'm nothing is too surprising necessarily, but I do think it's interesting that No Good Deed did so well. Uh, there was a lot of controversy around this film because they pulled all the press screenings, I think, in the weeks before. And uh, whenever studios do that, of course, all the critics come out and say, it's going to suck because they're not letting us see it. Um, but whatever they thought, and they did come out and review the film, and ultimately it didn't get good reviews, but it's still was a 13 million dollar movie that made, you know, 24.5 million at the box office. So it did really well. What I think is surprising and I hope it gets less surprising as we go on is the fact that you know, this is a film that is a home invasion thriller. It's a genre film. It has nothing to do with politics, but it has an African American cast and it just swept the box office, proving that, you know, we need more diversity in the box office. I think it's nice to see movies that are genre films that have an African American cast that aren't you know, about race issues in America. It's kind of refreshing. Not to say that there aren't movies that come out, but there's a lot of like Tyler Perry, romantic comedies. It's nice to kind of see a genre thriller with Idris Elba. And, and it's true, the producer of this film did Obsessed as well, which also I believe starred Idris Elba and also did really well at the box office. So it's kind of like, Idris Elba is amazing and he's very handsome and he's fun to watch. But it's also, I think, a, a hopefully a sign of the times that we're gonna have more diversity in the box office and that'll continue to do well, so. We had a, a guy from AMC head office visiting us here in LA last week and we were talking and I said, no good deed, we'll make 25 million in you opening were, weekend. Yeah. I was wrong, I was off by half, I was over actually, over by half a million, but I came yeah. close. But there's, there's a couple things into play here. Number one, it's Idris Elba. I mean, yeah. so I think this is a little bit of a testimony that people really like Idris Elba. Mm -hmm. um, so it'd be cool to see that. Secondly, I think these little, these smaller scale thrillers, usually you think thrillers these days, it's the world is at stake or the city will be destroyed or whatever. <laughs> Story, look, I said off air, I was, we were talking about this movie, I said, this this movie, if you look at the trailer, this is Home Alone for adults. <laughs> this is basically like... And some violence. Yeah, like I she's she's McCullen running around the house trying, trying mm -hmm. to stop him and all this kind of stuff. So I think that's great. I also think it's a testimony that not all films have to be $150 million films. Yeah. You can make these great 13, 20, yeah. 8, you know, $35 million films and do really, really well. Now, let's also not lose sight of the fact, before we get too excited about the success of the film, that yes, it made $24.5 million, but it opened against Dolphin Tale 2, <laughs> a Guardians of the Galaxy movie in its seventh week, yeah. a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie in its sixth week, um, so, and, and the time of year. So let's, let's keep that in, but even still, when you consider all that, this has to be considered a really good success, mm -hmm. and I hope a harbinger of like saying, studios, look, Bloom, um, I forget uh, Bloom's first name from Bloomhouse, the guy who's producing all these little Jason. horror movies. Jason Bloom, thank you. He is making an industry out of making these $5 million horror films that make $75 million at the box office. He's making a lot of money, too. I want to see a real resurgence. Don't get me wrong. Everybody knows I love my big blockbusters. But I want to see a resurgence of these 10 to $30 million films. Uh, doing so well. If there's anything on this that's a surprise to me, it's how good Let's Be Cops is kind of hanging in there. <laughs> it's very quietly actually yeah. made a respectable yeah. amount of money overall, yeah. uh, despite anything. Anyway, any surprises to you, John? No, I mean, the surprise was, yeah, that it took number one. But Idris Elba, it's exciting to see that he's a well-known actor now. I mean, since yeah. Luther, I mean, he's just such a great yeah. actor that he does deserve to be number one when opening he's against so Dolphin handsome. Tale, too. You know, so. That's the third time you've said that. You're, Sorry, are he's you really here? Are you here? Yeah. He is. I apologize. He's a good-looking dude. He's just yeah. got a lot of, I don't know, star power. I, yeah. I think he's great. I want to see him in a lot of yeah. stuff. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be in plenty of films, believe me, especially after this one. Yeah. And I'd love to see, you're correct, to see a 10 to 15 million resurgence mm -hmm. on middle of the road films. And I say middle of the road, I mean middle of the road budget. Like it's not 100 million, it's not 500,000. You give some, it's mm -hmm. enough to actually warrant a great film. I just saw The Drop, which was a fantastic film. Not only James Gandolfini's last role, but it's a great film and it's playing right now, so. There you, you know, go. A real testament about that, you mentioned the star power mm -hmm. uh, of Idris. 
I think one of the things that really is is a testament to that is the fact that, you know, you know me. I I don't care. I don't care that you get Michael Clark Duncan to play Kingpin. I don't care you get Samuel Jack. I don't care you get Morpheus to play Perry White. I don't I don't care about any of that. I, I really don't. But there are people who, for some good reasons and some bad reasons, don't want you know any you know uh, fictional character to have their race messed with. But conversations started bubbling a few months ago about. Idris Elba maybe is the new James Bond. I would love it. And even a lot of people I know who do not like changing whatever the race of a fictional yeah. character is changes. Uh, so even some of them are going, that might not be so bad. Yeah, that, be that's a, a testament I to a star power. I would love to see that. Just <laughs> yeah. because aside from all the obvious barriers that it would be breaking, uh, I, I just think he would be a great Bond. And I think like you said, so smooth, that's yeah. what's yeah. important, Badass. right? Yeah. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.